Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, going to be a Katowice replay between Raynor and Showtime here on Oceanborn. Bottom right, it's going to be the Wall, the German Protoss Showtime. And in the top left is going to be the Italian Stallion Raynor doing an extractor trick. 15 out of 14 supply here. Just to get an earlier hatch, I feel like, because this is a map where... Ah, you can block the hatch, but Showtime is not interested in that, so mind games, maybe. Just forcing Rainer to go for a 15... Yep, Extractor Trick 15 hatch, around 37 seconds. Showtime says, yep, I know what you're going to do, Rainer. We play each other all the time on the European ladder. Another Extractor Trick. All right, man. So... Do do do. Maybe Rainer has been watching Serral because Serral has done this uh, against another Protoss that I remember. I don't know who it was, but hey, got ourselves a spawning pool at about one minute. No gas collecting, no extractor building, and Showtime is gonna play the mineral game. Dun 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 dun. Da -dun -dun -dun. There's the gas. Extractor. Got ourselves a Nexus coming up. A cybernetics core here on the way. And all is well here on Oceanborn. Yeah, so... Pretty darn standard one get expand timing here from Mr. Showtime. Terror of the Overlord moving out. We got merch with Terror of the Overlord and Robert the Zealot at falconpaladin.store. And, yep. No harassment from speedlings in the near future here, says Showtime. There we go. So, fully saturating the gas. But yeah, hope you all y'all are doing great here in 2024. It's a Stargate openings here from Showtime. Third hatch coming here from Rainer. The reason I wanted to cast a Showtime versus Rainer game is because I feel like Showtime has the best chance to defeat Rainer and Serral out of any Protoss that is in Katowice. Because again, familiarity, right? Adept says, okay, there's a third hatch, very, very good, we got a queen, we've got spreading creep, everything is A-OK -okay here. From Rainer pulling the dudes off gas, so you can get more drones. And, oh, we're gonna finish it? Oh, come on. Surround, surround, pin. There we go, yep, I don't feel like Showtime meant to finish that shade. But third Nexus coming up at 3 minutes and 20 seconds. An Oracle on the way. We've got an Oracle name from Doc Bravo. We are out of Oracle names. So again, you want me to use your Oracle name or a Reaper name in a cast? Just go ahead and put it in any video in the comments. Just have to have the word Oracle, the world, the word Oracle, or the word Reaper in there. Backstory, not required but it can be kind of fun and there we go this oracle's name is Sanginius from warhammer 40k after being killed over five times as a reaper the primarch of the blood angels was ascended into an oracle in hopes of creating a meme yep i have been reading a lot of warhammer stuff recently but warhammer 30k stuff specifically uh horus heresy stuff here that's been a lot of fun most recently read legion which I still think is a terrible name for a Warhammer book. It's so generic. It's basically about the Alpha Legion. But I mean, come on. How many other Legions are there? 18, 19, 20, depending on, you know, how many Lost Legions are there. How many are Lost? What's true? What's not? The Warhammer universe is big and vast. And there are a lot of questions about what is actually going on, right? Anyway, Depths swinging in. Cut chunk. Four Adepts. Got a couple Oracles too. Third Oracle on the way. Maybe a revelation on a creep tumor here would be pretty sweet. Or do you want the energy going to go for a pulsar beam instead? Oh, there's a revelation. A couple tumors die. 
These adepts get behind the mineral line, and they snipe a drone, but okay, one adept dies immediately, and oracles come swinging in to try to get some kills on these drones too. Only four drones go down, five drones, and that adept gets out, he gets into this base, and bam, gets wiped out. So five drones down in exchange for, we'll count the, yeah, one earlier, five adepts, not the best trades in the entire world here. Rainer's going to be able to absorb those losses pretty much perfectly and easily here. Lings come swinging in to see what's going on at the third. Two Stalkers in position to where the Lings can't really mess with him. Orhul coming back home to defend with that too. Everything is fine. The Blink is on the way. Plus one attack coming in from Showtime. And is Rainer going to do his thing? Where are we going to go? Fourth base? Okay, so no three base all in here from Rainer. Got himself a fourth base here, around five minutes. Very, very good. And Revelation tossed down. Oracles get away with their lives, despite the fact that Queens are shooting at them with their anti-air attack. And, oh, okay, so four drones, and the Oracles do get away. Yep, plugging the hole <laughs> into the main base here with Stalkers. Very, very good. And a Templar Archives on the way. Yep, so there are so many lings here. I think it's going to be Storm, right? Maybe some Archons supported by Zealots. Going to have to wait and see what Showtime's strategy will be. Fourth base at six and a half minutes here. Keeping up. Keeping up with Raynor. Income Advantage says that Showtime is ahead right now. With 70 workers to 75 drones. The Lings are being very active, just making sure, just scouting to see if there's some kind of an Adept run by or a Zealot run by. Yep, immediately Storm is being researched here for Showtime. Purr, yeah. Put down the shield batteries before they can actually, actually warp in. All right, so we got some Roaches here, but man, Roaches versus Blink Stalkers. A little bit hard to do for Zerg. Maybe some Ravagers? They have a little bit more reach. Yeah, Roaches have a range of four. Ravagers have a range of six. Hydralisk Den. Some of the Lings escape from that stasis trap with their lives, but... Ah... Uh, their brethren. Their brethren are dead. 21 links have gone down. Five adepts have gone down. Stasis ward here as well. The top of this ramp. I think it'd be funny if stasis wards could trap creep tumors, right? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, immediately into a lurker den. And oh. It's a German taxi play here. Off of four bases at eight minutes. Okay, so there's one Ravager, three more Ravagers, two more Ravagers as well, warping in here, and Showtime is going to show you why they call him The Wall. Oh my gosh, The Storm! Yeah, so cannon down. All of these Roaches are so, so, so bruised up. Is there enough energy for another Storm here? Yes, yes indeed. Just don't want to waste it. Snipe the Creep Tumor. Snipe it. Yeah, so... The creep will quickly recede. The queens cannot transfuse unless they are on creep. And yep, I told you. I told you that Showtime would repel this attack. But hey, maybe I spoke too soon here. Uh, oh, just bathing all of those roaches in electricity. Ow. Catching a corrosive bile here from these stalkers. And Blink is good for retreating and pursuing. Yep. So there we go. German taxi, but denied. Rainer says, all right, fine. I'll take a fifth base, and I will work on lurkers with seismic spines versus your stalkers. How do you like them apples? And Showtime's like, not a lot, actually. Not very much. Is it time for a robotics facility and a robotic support bay? Mm, we got two robos. Do we have a robotic support bay? The structures tab says no. So, I, Disruptor's really good against these Lurkers. Immortal's surprisingly fantastic, too. Creep Tumor down. 
Oh, it's a fleet beacon. Oh my gosh, showtime. It's not disruptors. It's something that is even better against lurkers. Carriers, potentially, or tempests. Tempest's pretty good too. Rainer sharking around the south here. Oh, this has got to be a recall or a nice stasis, though. All right, Lurker Roach Ravager Ling here at this fourth base. Mm, it's not a huge army from Rainer. The stasis is really problematic. Coming around the backside, there you go. Snipe, dude, sniping Lurkers. Not really target firing in particular here, but there we go. A Lurker does go down. Lurkers are expensive and problematic. A Roach drop in the main base, and then Roach is trying to get here into the natural base too, but these Immortals are like, mm, how about, actually, do you want to, wow, I don't know. If Okay, we're fighting this, guys. Yeah, they did kill an immortal, but how many roaches? I'd like four or five there. I'm not sure that's a good trade at all. Adrenal's on the way from Rainer. Good to see that he didn't fall for her. the trap of forgetting about adrenal glands. Man, I cast a recent game with Serral where he forgot about adrenal glands. I don't know why. I don't know why professional Zerg players sometimes forget about them. Serral especially, dude. He is the greatest of all time, but man, forgetting about adrenal glands is like a cardinal sin for Zerg players. <laughs> and bam! Dropper Lord dies with four roaches inside. Maybe just three, but yep. All right, so charge lot run by here versus adrenal linged lings. Supported by Hydralisks. Yeah. Very well defended there. Blinking forward, sniping a lurker. Seismic Spines is researched. And two carriers on the way. Does Rainer know? Does Rainer know? Does Scotty know? Scotty doesn't know, but maybe Rainer knows. Ooh, Crocevile catching that Archon. Storm, storming the Lurkers, bruising them up. They have a lot of HP, 200 HP. So bruising them up is all that one Storm can do. And Zealots here, sniping down, okay. Sniping down a couple drones. Killing a Hydralisk, nope, four HP. Did not kill that Hydralisk, and Showtime expanded again. Fifth base, down on the left here. Three carriers on the way, so he's gonna have four carriers very, very soon. This ground army has the job of keeping the Zerg away until we are ready to reveal these carriers. Repli oh, never mind. So we're ready to reveal them now. Very good. Yep, it's a carrier. I knew this was gonna be a good game. These two players always bring out the best of each other. Creep spread is very, very good here from Rainer. Man, seismic spine range. And throwing down a spire in response to the fact that there is one carrier. Where you see one carrier, there are many. That's certainly the case. Oh, setting up a lurker inside of cannon range. Won't make that mistake again, say these other lurkers. Uh, Hydralisks. Oh my gosh. Storm plus carrier. Oh, so good. So, 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 so good. And, uh, um, you guys, are we not actually seeing these lurkers? Oh my gosh, not revelation, no over, no observer. Come on, Showtime, we got this, man. Again, your nickname here is The Wall. Oh, you're gonna have to sack, you're gonna have to sack this base. Rainer at the one o'clock, expanding to a sixth base, and yes. Gonna have to go ahead and sacrifice this base in hopes that that will lead to a win here somehow. Is that a recall? I don't know. Nexus down. First blood. First base down. This overlord says, yeah, Zealots, I see you. And not, not soon enough to prevent this thing from being canceled. Goodbye, one o'clock hatchery. Okay, that was good. So it's gonna be a four basing Protoss here versus a five basing, ah, Zerg. Oh, the Zealots just get absolutely murked by Hydro Lurker. That Oracle just went down for absolutely no reason. That was 
Sanguinius, who is gone now. Sanguinius? I think it might be misspelled a little bit. I don't remember it's Sanguinius, but I am not a Warhammer expert by any stretch. Who is really a Warhammer expert? There's so much Warhammer out there. Anyway, abduct and... Yep, there we go. Abduct enough Hydra to burn down these carriers in two volleys. Hydra are trying to get into position where they don't get stormed. High Templar are trying to get into position where they do storm. Zealots kill this hatch over here. Okay. Lurker shutting down a base attempt over this way. I think they canceled the Nexus. Creep spread going down. Showtime replacing this fifth base. And Creep going to have to come, come down here. Storm on those Hydras. Again, eventually if there is a critical mass of carriers, then Hydras cannot deal with it. But that's not what we're seeing here. It's only four carriers. It's very hybrid, not Sky Toss here. It's hybrid ground Sky Toss right now. Nice revelation toss down, storm dodged again. Creep tumors getting sniped. Keeping this creep from getting too out of hand here. Coming in, baiting out a storm. Storm whiffs generally here. High Templar. Bad pathing on those guys. Okay, they have to, have to storm a little bit to cover their back. And arc on that guy just to buy a little time here, too. Overlord that scouted. Dead. A lurker gets... Oh, and Nidus comes in. And this guy must have just gotten dropped. Yeah, by that dropper lord. So this lurker, very funny stuff. And showtime. Sneaking along this way. Corruptors. Not enough to two volley down, but they can three volley down a carrier. And this fifth bay is going to die again, but does force a recall to save it. Never mind. Base lives. Showtime's like, oh boy. I don't know. This is tough. But rainer has been stuck on these five bases for a while now. And Showtime's on five bases. So Protoss fans don't lose heart. Income is favoring Rainer at the moment. Got more Zealots. Ooh, bringing some Archons in here too. Zealots. Target firing individual drones. Four more have gone down. Every drone here matters. this dropper lord still here? Yeah, there's just been nothing inside the main base to kill this guy yet. Very funny stuff. Yeah, that recall keeping this base alive is a big deal. I talk about recall being good, and it is good. Obviously not good enough for a Protoss to win a premier tournament over the last 18 months or so, but maybe one day. Yeah, this is why you kill the overlord that's in your base. Because he can be used to scout for things like, well, Nidus is. Mm, that's a lot of lurkers, boys and girls. Nidus. Worm had nothing in it. This Nidus is going to come up, but warping in some Zealots to handle that. Two. Hack, 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 hack. Two Zealots, man. Pretty good against Nidus Worms, especially if they have plus three attack and charge, which they do. Okay, so finally we warp in a Stalker to deal with the Dropper Lord, which forces it to turn into an Overseer. Zealot Archon trying to mash in here, but again, Rainer just has enough. Queen's transfusing the Lurks. Very good plays here. Your Rainer should be called the Wall, too. Showtime, however, has this base. Dude, Showtime. One, two, three, four, five, six. A seventh base of his is warping in. And he's really done an insanely good job of keeping Rainer to five bases today. Okay, but problematically, this Nidus might actually have something in it. Hold on a second. Zealots. Yep, two Lurkers. And focusing the Nidus. The Nidus does go down. Charge Lodge is trying to handle these Lurkers, but dude... A whole bunch of them. Sorry, wrong button there. Seven of them came in. Dealing with this is a nightmare. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Stalkers tried to... Nope. Stalkers, no. You almost need those carriers back home to deal with this. That was a great place for a Nidus, man. He does. He recalls the carriers home. Another Nidus comes up, and some of the lurkers evac out of there. Beautiful play. Broodlords from Rainer have joined this party. The carriers are out of position to deal with those two. Rainer's trying to re-expand up here to the 1 o'clock position. Can he do it? Corruptors! Oh my gosh. Did they just shark in and snipe those carriers? They did! They sh Oh, Rainer! Gutsy move! Pulls it off. Dude, Tempests are in production to try to deal, but Corruptors are really good against those two. Dude, this Nidus is still up, and this one. Kill this. Oh, Rainer's picking him apart. Lurker Broodlord, are you kidding me right now? 
Is that even a real composition? Am I dreaming? There's nothing in this Nidus worm. Okay, so this base is going to die again. This, I don't know, 5 o'clock position dies. The probes try to get out of here because they are in a very dangerous spot. Uh, keep. I would keep running if I was them personally. Dude, more... More and more lurkers are here trying to storm them up. Okay, Immortals coming through. That's what we're talking about. Immortals, big, chunky hits against these lurkers. Very nicely done. This It's not even that many Broodlords and lurkers. It's five lurkers and five Broodlords. This is having a wonderful time against all this static defense. 16 hiders out of time in production from Raynor. He's got a bank. Showtime does not. Dude, this base. This Every time Rainer tries to take a base, bad things happen. Drones are dying. These drones coming up here are going to die too. It's 59 workers for Rainer. He's got a bit of a bank here. There's an abduct on a Tempest. Tempest don't do bonus damage versus Corruptors. And some Ling Hydra is sent up to deal with these Zealots. A ton of Hydras come up to deal with these Zealots. Uh, economically... It's been a little bit of showtime recently here, but this base going down, I don't know. I don't know. Are these probes wing it up this way? Can they force a cancel on this base? No. Definitely not. Showtime says, all right, are we base racing? Kind of. These lurkers are killing an excess, so fine. We're going to take down a hatchery. Bam. Dude, look at these. Oh, my gosh. They're fighting drones, too? Okay, one Zergling with Adrenal and plus two attack. Is going to handle every one of these. Okay, two especially going to handle every one of these. Yeah, this Corruptor Ball is big enough that I really don't think that Sky Toss is going to be amazing here today. But the Lurkers are such a problem. Ugh, Protoss. I feel for you guys. I really do. Uh, lurkers in a choke. That's exactly where they want to be. The Corruptors are just like, yeah, we don't care about your Archons or your Storm, actually. It's going to wipe out every one of your Tempests and just casually fly on out of here. 29 probes have died in the recent times here. It is plus two flyer attack and plus one armor for these Corruptors, but they already have natural armor. This game is bonkers. This game might get an epic tag. This production tab from Raider, though. Look at it compared to what Showtime is doing. And I just, I don't know. I really, I really don't know if Showtime has what it takes to win this thing. We're just Caustic Spring on the main Nexus. On a Stargate over here. Fine, fine, fine. Army Supply, 161 to 121. And Showtime is just... His only saving grace is that maybe sniping this base might work. Ah, the Hydra Adrenaling Lurker strategy against Zealots is just super powerful. Stalkers are like, okay, get out of here, you guys. Shoot. It's like they're pests. Kill the one who's actively caustic spraying down your Templar archives. Okay, what is this? Oh, they didn't go far enough to not die. What's Rainer replacing them with? Hydras, that supply is being replaced with Hydras. Lurkers, shield batteries popped. Lurkers have to pull back there. They're really good against cannons, but shield battery is something you gotta worry about a tiny bit here. Yeah, this game is. Showtime effectively mining off of two bases. Rainer effectively mining off one. I know this base exists, but it's not looking great. Showtime with the base denial can maybe get a win here. I feel like it's entirely possible. Showtime wants this base and so does Rainer. That's how you know it's a good game. When both players are trying to expand at the same location. Oh, tried to warp in some dudes to hold the line here. But uh, they are fully surrounded and therefore they are dead. And all right, warping in some more stuff. Archons very slowly trying to join this party. Okay, Blink Stalkers against Broodlords. Pretty good, especially if the Broodlords are unsupported. But there are now Lurkers. Okay, Broodlord one volley down. Ling's free inside Showtime's base. Going after Pylons. Going after the Fleet Beacon. A Tempest being produced. How many Corruptors are left? There are still nine of them. I don't know if I agree with that. One, I mean, this Archon. 
trying to maybe drag Lings to die to these cannons. Like, as much value as you can possibly get here, Showtime. Just try to get as much value as you can if you're going to win this thing. 145 to 127 overall. Army supply. You can storm the lurkers, but it's like three storms to kill a lurk, man. If not even more than that. Yeah, all right. Rainer being kind of creative. I really like this Broodlord Lurker thing he's doing with the Corruptors, with the Viper, no Infestors today, but just having enough to deal with Sky Toss and having enough Lurkers to deal with pretty much everything on the ground here. Yeah, and just completely dissuading Colossus from being made at all. Counterattack into one of the only bases that is working right now for Raynor. This is huge. Dude, bring more Archons over. These Lings getting full surround on the Archons cannot pass. Zealots, there you go. Forcing the Hydras out of there. That is a 32 kill Archon and a 27 kill Archon. Hold on a second. Is this? My gosh, this is insane. Next is right side down for Showtime. This game might just get a straight up epic tag here. It is 23 workers apiece for these players. Showtime trying to expand up this way. Not going particularly well. Oh, these high ground lurkers keeping this flying stuff alive for the Zerg. This is nuts. I cannot believe this game. Showtime's down here taking lurker spikes like it's going out of style. Rainer holding on to this base and actually being able to mine from it still is a massive, massive win for him. A few more Lurkers. Just, hey, it's been the game of the Lurker, man. All right. Busts in. These Lurkers recognize they're getting busted, and they try to retreat out of here. Overseer gets sniped. 103 to 99 army supply. I just feel like a four zealot run by would take down this hatch, and that'd be so big. It would be massive for Showtime if he could pull that off. But there's just little groups of army from Raynor everywhere here today. High Templar storms are available, but it's just like the more lurkers there are, maybe the less good that is. These hiders do not care about your shield battery overcharge, friends. Absolutely not. It's going to wipe it out. Where are the obs? Where's the obs? There's the obs. There's the obs. Okay. Mortal goes down. Third Nexus dies. It's entirely mined out, so it's not that big of a deal here. 97 to 70 army supply. This game might have just completely come down. Caustic spray on a Nexus. Once again, Lurkers covering the air stuff here as well as they can. And Nexus down. Rainer pulls back. It just it came down to this base. This is it. If Rainer couldn't hold on, GG, Rainer gets the win. Wow, what a close game though. Insanely close. This is it. This is the hatch. This hatch had, if we take a look at it real quick, I mean, what? 300 HP on this thing? Rainer's not maxed out. Rainer's not maxed out winning this game. You get so much value from the Corruptors today. Yeah, man. Corruptors dying, Hiders dying, Lurkers dying, but. Rainer using so many different tools in the book here for Zerg against Protoss. We have Broodlords, Corruptors, Vipers, Lurkers, Hydras, Lings, Roaches, Ravagers. I don't think any Banelings got made here today. If I take a look at the structures, yeah, no Banelings today, but man, Greater Spire was used to pretty good effect. Broodlord's not bad with Lurker support. Absolutely a fantastic showing there from Rainer. Resources lost, 54,000 for Rainer and 65,000 for Showtime. It's almost like a reverse ZVP. Because Showtime made more stuff and lost more stuff. And Rainer was able to win anyway because he was more cost efficient with his things, which is not usually how this works in this matchup. Usually the Protoss is more cost efficient and they get the win. But man, Rainer's ability to just completely shut down any attempt at going Sky Toss today was big. Really, really big. So, hmm. GG. I mean, that was an absolutely fan. Fantastic display of how. 
how to play ZVP. That's another Protoss loss, but a Protoss win was there last week. I'm not going to tell you which one it was to spoil you, but man, this was a good game. Showtime did out-expand Raynor and killed how many hatcheries? Let's find out real quick. Three hatcheries, canceled two more, so five hatcheries down in 27 minutes. But yeah, six warp gates, seven nexuses went down, 89 probes, 64 drones, hydralisks were effective, broodlords were effective, lurkers were effective, roaches were kind of effective but not much, so he only made 30 of them and did not bring them back. Made an infester by accident because uh, I don't know why else he would have made it. But yeah, that is a PVZ. <sighs> Maybe the balance team can help Protoss in the coming months to help to help them win a premier tournament in StarCraft 2. <laughs> because, uh, man, just... Just incredible. Incredible ZVP here. Let me know if it deserves an epic tag. Because Rainer had 112 supply when he won. On a 27 minute game. I kind of feel like it is, but maybe not. Let me know. Alright, so that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.